Hi all, in this video, I am going to show you guys a tutorial to slow down videos using DaVinci Fusion. First of all, the reason for using DaVinci Fusion to slow down the videos. First reason is that the quality of the video slowed down using DaVinci Fusion is good. It is same or sometimes better than what we can achieve using speed warp mode. Second reason is that the video slow down using this method is more smoother compared to other method. Third reason is that we can get lot of controls on the parameters used while slowing down the videos. This is not always a good ride because there is some problems too. First one is that it is complicated or complex to use and second thing is that it is processor density. So now let's jump into this uh, tutorial. On our DaVinci Resolve, first add a new Fusion Composition from Effect tab. Then open this on your Fusion tab. Then from Media Pool, drag and drop the video that you like to slow down. Then from the inspector of this media, by using the Trim option, trim the clip to the specific part that you like. The reason for creating a fusion composition like this is because only by using this method we can elongate the clip on the edit tab after slowing down the footage. If we use other method to slow down then after slowing down the clip from fusion tab we can only elongate the clip till the clip's duration. After that we can't elongate. So we won't be able to see the full clip after slowing down the footage from DaVinci Fusion. And for trimming the clip, if you are finding it difficult, then on our edit tab, add the trimmed clip, then open that in Fusion page and from the left side, note down the frame numbers. Then on your Fusion Compositions trim option, type these numbers. After this, to slow down the clip, we need to add two nodes. One is optical flow node and other one is time speed node. So first add optical flow node, then add the time speed node. Optical flow node will provide the optical flow data or the vector data which will be used by this time speed node for slowing down the footage. So after adding both nodes, first on our time speed node, change the interpolation mode to flow. Then by changing the speed value, you can slow down the clip. 1 means 100%, 0 means 0%. So slow down the footage to how much you need. And sometimes the edges of your clip will look distorted. At that time, on the time speed node, tick the clamp edges box. It will fix the edge distortion. But if it is causing more distortion, then from the edit tab, you need to zoom in the clip. Next, on our optical flow node, there will be two options, advanced and classic. Advanced use GPU algorithm while classic use CPU algorithm. So choose advanced and from the advanced section, there will be three options. And by controlling these three values, we can increase our slow motion quality. By increasing the wrap and iteration value, you can reduce the distortion in slow motion and by controlling the smoothness value, we can increase the smoothness in slow down clip. Thing to notice that increasing the value of these three will also increase the resource used by optical flow node. So increase this value with the caution. Another thing about these three sliders is that these three value got a limit and after this limit, if you increase the value, the call won't increase. You will be just wasting the resource. And to see the changes in real time on your optical flow node from the color section enable vectors and by looking at this vector data you can see the changes you are making while controlling these sliders. So control these three values to adjust your slow motion quality. After that on your edit tab you can find your slow motion clip and if you are finding it difficult to play back the clip use a render catch or render in place. So that's it. That's all about this video to slow down clip using DaVinci Fusion. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you do so, the like button and don't forget to subscribe.